Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at some new cards which are coming out of Yu-Gi-Oh Rush Jewels and apparently you have the opportunity to get one of these five as well as within the Sakura Battle Deck. So each is a random chance and each of them being legend cards means you can only play one of those per deck and you can only run one legend card in a deck. So you have to be very dependent on what your style of deck is. There are five of these, so you do have a good opportunity to get them all if you invest in all of the structure decks. But for example, you could get all of one type of characters such as Asana, and that doesn't guarantee you're going to get a mix of them. First one is Millennium Shield. It's got zero attack and 3000 defense. It's a level five earth attribute warrior type normal monster. And it's a famous shield said to belong to an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. Legends tell of its power to block any strong attack. I think this is actually quite apt considering that in season two we do have a character that uses the Millennium Shield. So it's nice that it gets a big reprint. The next card is a Force Raider. This is a level 4 dark attribute beast warrior type normal monster with 1900 attack and 1200 defense. This wicked beast warrior does every horrible thing imaginable and loves it. His axe bears the marks of his countless victims. The interesting thing about this card is this was a card used by Seto Kaiba. And actually, it strangely enough boosts the maximum power level of level 4 monsters. Previously, the higher monsters were about 1,500, and that's where they were capped. This gives you the option of going into 1,900 attack monster without a tribute summon required. So it does strengthen all types of decks. Again, I would not advise this being the main monster you want to create as a legend card. It's best to focus on the spell or traps. Unless for whatever reason you think this is going to give you that edge. Or perhaps you're running a Beast Warrior style of deck. Mystical Elf is a level 4 light attribute spellcaster type normal monster with 800 attack and 2000 defense. A delicate elf that lacks offense but has a terrific defense backed by mystical power. That is a very strong monster for a level 4 in terms of its defense stats. I can't think of any other cards which do that, and so I can see where they're coming from. They want to increase the base defensive stat as well as the offensive stat for level 4 monsters. This was a card used famously by Atem or Yugi Moto within the original series of Yu Gi Oh! And I can understand their point of introducing it now, but for a Legend card, it is very disappointing considering you can only run one of these. It would have been more advisable to have just chosen another monster happens, which would have had at least an effect. Monster Reborn is a normal spell card with no requirements. The effect is to choose one monster in either graveyard and special summon it to your field face up. So this could be face up attack or defense position. And everyone knows what Monster Reborn does. It's one of those classic signature cards, which was used within the original series of Yu-Gi-Oh! And has always had its benefits somewhere within the games despite obviously being banned. It's nice that it's been introduced within Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels, and of all the cards that have been shown so far, it would definitely be my option to go if you're going for a Legend card, because it can revive both yours and your opponent's monsters. And the final card is Sakuretsu Armor. This is a normal trap card with a requirement. You can activate this when a monster your opponent controls declares an attack. The effect is to destroy that attacking monster. Again, this is a signature card that has seen a lot of play when it was initially released. It's not so powerful now, but actually would find its place quite well within Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Jewels, considering you don't have many ways of outing this effect outside of perhaps destroying this card before the battle phase. Of the five cards, I would argue this is the strongest one because it does have that versatility about it and it can get rid of your opponent's threatening monsters. My only concern with this card is it being a legend card means that you can only run one of it. I would have preferred for something that might have been a little bit more gimmicky to be a legend card, but I can also understand they don't want people to be running triple of these. 